Hi guys, welcome back. We're going to start in on just some prior knowledge that will help us for chapter 3. So, uh, we need to decide if these equations are equivalent. And to decide if those are equivalent, we want to see if x is the same for both of them. Okay. So remember, to solve for x, we're going to go ahead and subtract that 4. So we get x equals 6. And if I add this one, we get x equals 4. So these would not be equivalent. Equivalent. Okay. So go ahead and try this one and decide if those are equivalent. So 1 fifth x equals 4. We know that the other one is x equals 20. So I would multiply both sides by 5 over 1 or divide by 1 fifth. Same thing. And then we would get 20. So these are, yes, they are in fact equivalent. Okay. Write an equation representing the following. A wall has a width w and a length 2w. Write an equation for the parameter p. So whenever I see a parameter question, I like to draw a picture. So they said the width is w and the length is 2w. So I know this width is also w and this is also 2w. And I know when I'm adding up uh, for perimeter, I'm adding up all the sides. So we have 2w plus w plus another w plus 2w. And that would equal p, the perimeter, right? And I know that when I have like terms, I like to combine them. So 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 would be 6w would equal p. Oh, that would be my equation. Okay. Let's talk about solving some more complicated equations here. So again, remember, we can always draw our line through our equal sign. We talked about this in review at the beginning of the year as well. And I, want, I always like to get my variables together first. You don't have to, but it just tends to make things easier for students. So 4x minus 3x would be x plus 7 equals 14. I would go ahead and subtract my 7. So I'm going to go ahead and get x equals 7. Okay, go ahead and try this one. I know there's fractions, but that's okay. You can do it still. Okay, again, I'm seeing that I have V's on both sides. Since this V is almost by itself, I'm going to move this one over. Okay, so off to the side, I would be like, well, one third plus two ninths needs a common denominator, right? So multiply top and bottom by three there. So this gives me five ninths V equals two. And we're going to go ahead and divide by the 5 ninths. Or we could have multiplied by the reciprocal. That will give you the same answer. So this would be 2 times 9 over 5. Nothing cross reduces, so I would just get 18 over 5 because I just multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom because there's an invisible 1 here. Okay? I hope you're having a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.